Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a haul of the things that I bought from Greece. As you may have seen, if you watch my videos, I haven't been here like on YouTube for one week because I uh, I went in Greece to visit my boyfriend for his birthday, and yeah, I didn't have time to edit or to post or anything like that, and the internet was very very bad. So yeah, now I'm gonna continue posting and also have some stuff to show you. I'm gonna film two hauls and in today's video I'm gonna show the makeup that I bought and in the other video, the next uh, haul I'm gonna show you is gonna be about little Greek stuff and like souvenirs and stuff like that that I found that are really interesting and cute and yeah, I'm gonna film that too. But in today's video I'm gonna talk all about the makeup stuff that I bought and like beauty and care and stuff like that. So yeah. If you wanna see it, please keep watching. So first I'm gonna show you what I got in Sephora and I didn't bought so many things, I feel like almost nothing because they have the same brands that we have here. I was very excited to find other brands but they had like nothing that I was searching for. So I just decided to buy uh, this stuff. First of all I have this makeup eraser and I heard that this is pretty pretty good and we didn't have this product never in Sephora. So I was so happy to buy it and yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I'm gonna do a video about it. I bought two one for me and for my mother and yeah, I'm so happy that, that I found this one because I heard really good things about it. And also when I was checking out, I bought this nail polish by uh, Nail Link. And it's like this. It's super, super cute with like little flowers and this turquoise color. I love it a lot and I already put on my nails this nail polish. I also went to the body shop, we don't have this store here and I just bought a few products. The first one is this tea tree pore minimizer and I know that tea tree is very good for uh, acne and for acne prone skin and yeah, I just use it today and it feels pretty good but I have to wear it like during the day, I just apply my makeup on but it's supposed to be like uh, to minimize the pores and also mattify your face. So I think this is a great product for people that have oily skin and yeah, I'm just gonna keep trying it and I'm gonna um, maybe do a review about, about it or something like that. From the body shop I also bought two eyeshadows and one of them it's called Bronze Bliss. It's the one that I have on my eyes right now, my eyelids. It's a very beautiful bronzy shade like this. And the other color didn't open it yet. It's called Golden Cinnamon. It's pretty much like sparkly cinnamon color and I really, really love them, especially this one. I tried it and it's such a great quality. It's just perfect to blend in, perfect to put on the lid. So yeah, I'm glad that I could try them. Another product that I bought from them is a lipstick and this looks like this. I really like the packaging too. And it's just a light kind of peachy, rosy color. I'm just gonna swatch it up right here. It has like a lot of sparkles. Yeah, I really like it. I'm probably gonna use it a lot in my everyday routine. And then the last product that I have from here, it's actually a present from them. It's a nail polish and I took it in this nude color. They just let you like choose from three nail polishes and this is the one I chose. The shade is called Almond Kiss. Almond Kiss. You know, the most of the products that I bought, the makeup that I bought are from Honda Center. This is like their store where they sell pretty much all the brands. It's like a Sephora but like just in Greece. And here I have like the bag. And yeah, all the products I'm gonna show you now are from this place. So first I bought some essence products. First I have this bronzer sun club matte bronzing powder for lighter skin. I really like this. It smells like coconut and I think it's gonna be great in the summer just to give like a nice bronze. And it has this really cute palm tree here. Draw and it also comes in a super big pan. Like, it's gonna be hard to finish. Also one product that I enjoyed a lot is this essence blush up. Uh, in these co colors, it looks like a gradient basically from pink to orange. It's really nice, like really colorful and nice colors. And I've been using this quite a lot ever since I bought it. And it's super pigmented and yeah, it lasts a lot on the face. So I really like this. I know they have another shade, but I didn't buy that one. And it's, it's a pity because it's a really, really great product. And then I have this I Love Stage, it's an eyeshadow base primer from Essence. I wanted to try this for a real long time and I finally got my hands on it. And it does a, does a pretty good job, but I haven't yet tried it too much, maybe three times, so I'm gonna keep you updated. Another stuff that I was excited for is this All I Need Concealer Palette from Essence again. And this comes in many shades. 
green, pink and all the other skin shades and I think this is very great, you know, to like neutralize the red spots and it's good for like dark circles, the pink color and I'm really gonna... Maybe I'm gonna do a tutorial or something with this because I think it's a very very interesting product. I just used the lighter concealer just to cover some blemishes in my face and it worked wonderful. I think it's a good uh, palette, I'm just gonna have to try it more and play more with it. But this uh, extra extra long lasting lip gloss and it's a velvet matte so it's basically a lip gloss that it's matte which kinda sounds weird because lip glosses are not matte. But yeah, I took it in this beautiful color and I'm kind of upset again that I didn't bought more colors But I just tried it once or twice and I really like it And yeah, I wanted to buy some more but I forgot And yeah, it's pretty much like a liquid lipstick, I don't know why they call it gloss It smells also like cupcakes and sugar and mm, delicious And yeah, I like it again, a great shade for everyday The last surprise I have from Essence are... Um, nail and cuticles that liner so basically this is something that you can draw on your nails and it has like a point tip and yeah I never had something like this so yeah I hope it's gonna be good and also I have some nail stickers they are also super cute like in this kind of tribe thing now moving on to other brands I bought from the L'Oreal I bought a cushion foundation and yeah I heard amazing things about this one it's a super cute packaging and it comes with a very nice mirror and also with this little pad and you just have to open this and this is how it looks in my side it's a sponge basically filled with foundation and you just press it on top of it and you put it on your face and it's really really amazing I've been using it maybe 3 or 4 times already in Greece and yeah I really fell in love with it it's super easy to blend in and it's such a practical product yeah, but we don't have it and that makes me sad because if I'm gonna finish this yeah I'm not gonna be able to use it anymore and this pad it's amazing like it resembles with a beauty blender to me I really like it then I went and I bought some products from Catrice we don't have this brand so I was excited to find it there and first I have this Saint Nudes eyeshadow palette and I love nude eyeshadows and it had like six palettes but I chose this one because the color seemed something that I don't have in my collection already and yeah it comes with this brush which is pretty good for nothing. And the colors, the camera is really not doing it justice because they are beautiful and I especially love this kind of salmonish kind of cold, cold color here. It's so beautiful and I also like the sparkly ones but when I tried it, I tried it just once or twice. The colors were super super chalky and like the glitter ones wouldn't show up. And yeah, they seem kind of bad quality but I'm gonna try it with uh, Mac Fix Plus so hopefully the will be better but yeah kind of the quality of these disappointed me a little bit the product that I, love, that I bought from Catrice it's the prime and fine beautifying primer they had like three types or four types and this is soft focus effect long lasting and natural illuminating it's like this kind of pinkish type and yeah I did try it but I didn't felt too much difference of any kind but I'm gonna keep using it and see something something happens. The last product that I got from Catrice it's a lipstick and I really love the lipsticks and all the packaging that I have they are just beautiful. Here is it like a whiny kind of shade and it's called Berry Bradshaw. Then I also bought some Essie nail polishes. I never had Essie before. I never seen Essie and I was so excited to see them. So I bought two colors. One is on my nails right now. This kind of turquoise color and it's called turquoise and kaikos and then I have this kind of pinkish red color which is called in stitches and I love both of them I already painted my nails with this one and with this one too and they are really really good quality and yeah I'm probably gonna buy some more then from Maybelline I got this baby lips balm and blush because they seem really cute I'm not really a fan of baby lips so I was kind of on the fence thinking about if I should buy it or not but I see like one I can buy and try and yeah they smell amazing oh uh, and I did try it I can't say that I really like it completely because it leaves a very like dewy and creamy finish on the face which I'm not really a fan of but I'm gonna try it a bit more and maybe set it with some powder and maybe it's gonna look better then I also bought some eyelashes and these are by Azad. I never heard of this but I like the way they looked. And I'm not really a fan of eyelashes, I never was, but I'm trying to buy 
some that I like like and to try them and to try them more instead of just like staying away from them. Then the next product that I bought are two brushes. First I have one which is for face brush and I really love the way it looks. It's by Galaxy. I don't know this brand. So they call this a run brush and it seems super soft and I really love the packaging but again I still haven't used it and I haven't washed it so I can't tell too much about it. And then this other brush I kind of like the shape of it but it doesn't feel super super soft. It's for eyes and yeah, it's by Tommy G. I never heard of this brand. And the next products are more like cream and mask and stuff like that. So I have this Labello which is Nivea uh, lip butter and we don't have it in this flavor. It's with uh, blueberry, blueberry and yeah. My it's gonna finish so I decided to buy this one and to try it out. I also bought a hand cream which is like with producing grease and with Greek products. It's with uh, olive oil and argan and I did use it a few times and yeah, it smells pretty nice. Bought some face masks from Ellie Sen Senses. I never heard of this brand either and I bought two with Dead Sea Mud Mask and two Cucumber Peel Off Masks and yeah, I'm gonna try these to see how they are. I bought this stick which has 3 tea lotion in it. It says Lotion Tea 3 and it conceals, it mattifies and it repairs. This is the way it looks and it's just like a tube with a little brush here and you are supposed to apply this on your pimples and tea tree. Um, you're supposed to heal them. And I also found these really really cute lip tattoos and I have seen a lot of people having them. Not from this brand though but this is the only thing that I could find and I bought some with stars and pink lips and some like with dots and red lips and yeah, I'm excited to try them to see how they work. I also bought some nail stickers like this and also some temporary tattoos for the arm. And the last kind of cute product that I bought are some soaps and one is right here. It looks like a watermelon. It smells super nice. And I also bought this one which is supposed to be good for scrubbing and it's like made from natural. Uh, ingredients and like you can use it on your face, on your body, that's what the seller told me. The last one is this little cute one too, it looks like a piece of cake and it smells amazing and yeah, they're supposed to be made with natural ingredients and to be produced in Greece which I found it super cool. So yeah, this has been the video for today, if you want to find out about the other stuff, but I'm gonna be like clothes, jewelry, Greek products and stuff like that. If you're interested in that, please watch my uh, next video. And this is pretty much all for this video, so I hope that you enjoyed. Please leave a like, and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!